so today I've got a cleaning motivation video for you. I haven't done one of these in a while, uh, but I have a lot of guests coming over for sort of the Christmas period, and this was just before sort of December I filmed this, um, because that's when my guests started to arrive. And so there's no Christmas decorations or anything up in this video, um, but I am thinking of doing a Christmas sort of decoration tour of my house because it is currently all decorated, and I'm pretty happy with what we've achieved in our little tiny space that we have to live in. Um, so yeah, do keep an eye out for that because I definitely think I'm going to do that. I always start off my cleaning in the bathroom because that seems to be where our mess sort of accumulates. Um, I put all the washing away and we always end up with odd socks so that always makes my mind baffle. And then I move on to my, my little beauty corner which again, it's normally pretty tidy but it can get a little bit out of hand pretty quickly if I don't keep on top of it. And here I hadn't kept on top of it so it was a complete mess. Um, but I just pop everything away, so all the makeup in little holders and I just pop all the rubbish in the bin, that sort of thing. Uh, spray myself with perfume like you do when you clean and just putting all the hair tools and everything away as well. And then just spray all the sides as well as the singlet and it all sort of sink in for a little bit and wipe them all down just to take off any of that dust and that accumulates on surfaces. Then moving on to the sink area, again, uh, just spraying it and wiping it. This is like a, just a SIF product that I picked up from the dollar store here in Sweden. Um, however, I haven't found a cleaning product that I really love here yet, so if you know any brands that are really, really good, I used to use the Method Cleaning Sort of products in the UK because they smell amazing. Love the rhubarb one, the bathroom one was like a eucalyptusy mint one. Really like that as well. So if you know any brands in Sweden that you know have the same sort of lovely smelling um, qualities to them, then please do let me know in the comments below because I'm really struggling on finding anything that is anywhere near as nice. I have also looked on Amazon about ordering some, but it costs like nine pounds a product um, if you order it from the sort of German uh, Amazon site because you don't have Amazon here in Sweden. I know, my gosh, that has been a tough change for us here. Um, but yes, please let me know below if you do know any. I then move on to the hall, just giving everything a nice wipe, lighting a candle because I just love a candle, and just giving it a really good hoover as well as a good mop. I always use the end of the hoover as well because I just find that lots of dirt gets into the little corners and I just find that much easier to sort of pick them up. I then just mop the floor in the hall as well. I mop the floor and hoover the floor pretty much every single day, definitely with having dogs, dog hair and the fact that it's getting cold outside it just you know the dirt sort of accumulates much faster so I do give it a good hoover and a good mop every single day. And moving on to the kitchen area I just pop anything away that shouldn't be on the surfaces and anything that's on the draining board just popping that away as well just making sure that everything is nice and tidy. I am trying to keep the surfaces as clear as possible I find that quite difficult because I'm not a naturally tidy person um, so I do have to work at that quite a lot and then just give everything a spray again this is just a product from the dollar store that doesn't actually have a scent in it at all I just wipe everything down I also wipe the fridge down and the cupboards down but I think my camera cut off without me knowing and uh, it didn't get that footage but I do normally wipe that all down as well. Uh, moving on to the dining table, I'm just clearing it off, there's always stuff on it that is just, you know, that's just where things get put. Uh, so I'm just clearing that away and then I also decide to uh, spray everything down, make sure there's nothing sticky on the table and I also move the runners in the middle so I put one on I believe instead of having two. I just think that looks a lot better than the two that I originally had. And this has been sort of trying to place it in the correct position, uh, making sure it's uh, nice and straight. And then I do go back 
and give it another wipe down because I just don't think it's clean enough. Um, I decided to put the fruit bowl there, change my mind, give it another wipe. But in the end I opt for a candle in the centre. I love these candles, these are from Yankee Candles. I've spoken about my candle obsession. I have to find some that I can get here in Sweden when these ones run out because I bought these ones over from the UK. Sorry about the lighting, it got a bit bright. I then again hoover. This is probably one of my least favourite jobs. It's like moving all the chairs out the way, trying to get under the table to get all the sort of uh, any sort of dirt or dust that might have fallen down there out of the way. It just seems to take such a long time when you have to move chairs and everything out of the way, but it is necessary. Moving on to the sort of living room area, I just sort out all the pillows. This uh, particular sofa was here in the flat when we rented it and it just has so many pillows and they always look a mess. So I'm always battling with them. So I'm just tidying that all up, putting our, our throws into a, a sort of a more tidy position and just puffing up those pillows. I feel like Monica from Friends, <laughs> always puffing up the pillows. And then again, just hoover all around. Give it a really good go over. I even hoover the sofa, which you'll see me do now. Uh, that's because we are teaching the dogs not to jump up on the sofa. However, at night time when we're in bed, if we come in out at night, they are always on the sofa. Um, so even though it's working during the day, it hasn't worked during the night yet. So I always give it a hoover to make sure there's no dog hair anywhere. And then just tidy up the TV area. And again, mopping the floor. And that's pretty much it for my cleaning motivation. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers so I'd love to have your help and if you enjoyed the video, please do do that and I will see you in my next one. See you later.